animals were the real pioneers of space flight. Taking one giant leap into space and often losing their lives in the process. In July 1969, Apollo 11 launched into space and Neil Armstrong and Buzz Aldrin successfully performed the first crewed lunar landing. Television images of the men taking humans' very first steps on the moon's surface were broadcast into the homes of millions. But there were many animals that paved the way to this momentous occasion and many that furthered astronautical studies afterwards. In this video, we are going to what are the animals that have been to space. Sounds interesting, right? Let's go to the video then. Fruit flies. It was 1947 when the first animal was put into space, and perhaps surprisingly, it was the humble fruit fly. American scientists were trying to establish the impact that cosmic radiation might potentially have on astronauts in the future. They chose flies because they are genetically similar to humans. A V-2 ballistic missile recovered from the Nazis at the end of World War II was loaded with the fruit flies and travelled 109 kilometers into the air, the distance at which space officially begins. On its descent back to Earth, a capsule containing the flies was parachuted down to New Mexico. On opening the capsule, the scientists found the flies alive, with no evidence of the effects of radiation. It was the start of a long line of astronaut animals to come. Monkeys and Apes Incredibly, 32 monkeys and apes have been to space, including the rhesus macaque, pig-tailed monkey, cynomolgus monkey, squirrel-tailed monkey and chimpanzee. The very first was a rhesus macaque called Albert II. In 1949, he reached 134 kilometers but sadly died on impact when re-entering the Earth's atmosphere due to a parachute failure. He was preceded by Albert I a year earlier, who suffocated within his cramped capsule before it had even left the ground. Mice These rodents have long been used to find out more about how space travel will affect the human body. In fact, NASA has recently published a detailed study of mice housed at the International Space Station. It shows that mice quickly adapt to microgravity conditions. The very first mouse went into space in 1950, reaching an altitude of 137 kilometers. However, unlike the fruit flies, the mouse died when the rocket disintegrated due to a parachute failure. Dogs. A number of dogs have gone into space under the former Soviet Union. The most well known was Laika in 1957. She was picked up off the streets as a stray mongrel puppy in Moscow and was deemed suitable because of her gentle temperament. The scientists also believed a stray would be better at coping with adverse conditions. The BBC World Service Witness History Series did an episode on Laika. Though other dogs had been launched into space before her, Laika is famous for being the first animal to orbit the Earth. However, she was never to return. She was sent off with just one meal and a seven-day oxygen supply. The Soviet government claimed she survived for seven days. The reality, Laika overheated and died just five hours into this flight. Tortoises in 1968, the race was on between the USA and the Soviet Union to get a man on the moon. The Russians launched the Zone 5 spaceship with a capsule carrying samples of soil and seeds, some worms and two-step tortoises. The tortoises completed a circuit around the moon and after six days returned to Earth. Though the plan had been for Zone 5 to land in Kazakhstan, 
The capsule veered off course and was eventually retrieved from the Indian Ocean. Thankfully, the tortoises were still alive though they had lost weight by 10%. Frogs These amphibians have been helping make one great leap for mankind since 1959. However, the most significant frog flight came in 1970 when NASA launched the orbiting frog Olodith spacecraft pictured containing two bullfrogs. The word Olodith refers to the frog's inner ear balance mechanism and the experiment was designed to investigate the effect of space travel on motion sickness. Electrodes were implanted into the frog's thoraxes and the vestibular system within the ear to record data on the effects of sustained weightlessness. The study found that after six days, the frogs acclimatized and their vestibular system had returned to normal. Spiders After the success of the first manned mission to the moon in 1969, there was less emphasis on putting animals into space. However, scientists were still interested in studying the effects of microgravity on the biological functions of animals. In 1973, two garden spiders called Anita and Annabella were used in an experiment to see if they could still spin webs in space. The experiment was the brainchild of Massachusetts high school student Judith Miles. Both spiders managed to spin webs even though the webs were slightly finer than on Earth. The study revealed a great deal about the effects of microgravity on motor response. Fish The first aquanauts to reach space were a type of minnow found in salt marshes, the Mamichok Plus 50X. It was 1973 and NASA were keen to observe the effects of microgravity on animals that moved three-dimensionally on Earth. The human astronauts suffered from space sickness and likewise the fish swam in loops rather than straight lines. In a few days, both the astronauts and aquanauts had got their bearings. More recently, in 2012, the Japanese Space Agency decided to send up fish to the International Space Station. Their aquarium had an automatic feeding system, a water circulation system, and LED lights to represent day and night. The fish chosen to go up for Medica, which have transparent skin, making it easier for researchers to see what was going on inside the fish. The purpose of the experiment was to see how fish would respond to radiation impact, bone degradation, and muscle wastage. Tardigrades In 2007, Tardigrades were the first animals to survive outer space. Tardigrades, also known as water bears, are microscopic invertebrates able to deal with almost anything on Earth. So perhaps it's no surprise. Lack of oxygen, radiation, freezing cold, dehydration, nothing faces a tardigrade. The tardigrades were dried out before the flight and then orbited the Earth outside a rocket for 10 days. When they were rehydrated on their return to Earth, scientists discovered 68% had survived the extreme cold and space radiation. Nematodes In 2003, the Columbia Space Shuttle disintegrated when it re-entered the Earth's atmosphere. Tragically, seven astronauts on board were killed. There were 80 science experiments aboard the shuttle as well. Incredibly, when these were recovered from the wreckage, a live group of nematodes was found to have survived the extreme heat. Now, nematodes, also called roundworms, are often used to study the impact of space travel on organisms. In this video, we discussed about 10 animals that have been to space. If you got this video helpful, please give a thumbs up to the video. Don't forget to share this with your friends. Subscribe the channel for more important videos like this. Thanks for watching.